Hi guys, welcome to The Grace Life. So in this video, I went into my stash and we're going to recycle this jar here. I didn't want this to go to waste, so we're recycling today. And I thought this was appropriate to match one of these jars that I did in a previous DIY that says I am human. Okay, so let's go ahead and decorate this jar, guys. So like I said, look how nice this looks. Doesn't that look nice? Yeah. And you know, the little flaws that we see here, we, that's okay. It just gives it character, guys. So let's go ahead and decorate the jar. Now, what I think what I'm going to do first is here's a twine bow. Well, I call it a shoe bow because it's like tying a shoelace. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put this gem. Now this I found is a some kind of bling wrap they had at AC Moore when they were open. They're no longer open for business, but I had this in my stash. So we're going to use this to embellish this bow. Then, like I said, the jar itself is recyclable. I did take this outside and I spray painted this at the time with this Krylon paint. It's like a sea foam. Uh, here it says uh, satin pistachio. I'm absolutely loving that color. So it's so nice. It's almost like a sea foam green. So I spray painted that at the time. And then the lid, I just spray painted in, in black. I don't have the can in front of me, but I spray painted that in black. Okay. And like I said, the, this is a piece of the nautical rope. The nautical rope is in a tight strand of three. I unraveled it and we're using one strand, which is really, th it's thick enough. So let's go ahead and embellish this bow. Okay, we'll let that sit aside and dry because then what we have to do Okay guys, everything that I'm using to uh, make this craft is down in the description box below, all of the items and everything that I'm using. So I am going to be using the fix all adhesive. This needs 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours to cure properly. You need to leave it alone and wait, but we can go ahead and use it and then use the hot glue, which will give us an instant stick. And then that was how well, that will help us to continue working. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing here because I already know where the contact points are. Okay. Which is really this center opening of the, of the lid right here. So I'm going to put some glue there and then we're going to put hot glue and then we're going to place this. So we're using the lid as a stand for the jar. That's what we're doing. So I'm just going to do a few points here. Then on the points that doesn't have the fix all, we're going to put hot glue. And we'll place the jar right in the center here you only have like a, a second or two to maneuver it because the hot glue dries quickly push down okay and that's what that looks like now I'm as I'm looking at this jar here Okay, because when I decorated this jar, I put the bow on the side because I didn't want to cover the I am human. You see that? So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing, but I'm going to put the bow on the opposite side. Okay, because I think I'm going to gift this just to a, a male friend that I have. And so this way the bow would be on that side because on this jar, the bow is on the left side. So let's do the right side on that one. I'm going to trim this bow down a little bit. Okay, this is what we have here and it's okay that one is longer than the other I just wanted to trim it down a little bit because they were both sides were too long so I'm gonna turn this around and place this one back and this guys is 
a jar that I made when I first started crafting and I still go back to it because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Simple and just gorgeous. Everybody seems to like it when they see it when they come to the house and it is, it stands out. So I, I figured because we're going with the seafoam green and the uh, black theme that this works out perfectly. So I'm gonna give it away as a set of three. All right, so now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna place the bow right here. And as a matter of fact, I think we need to lay this on the side a little bit. Then we'll place the bow this way because of the grooves inside of the jar, the grooves on the jar on the top. So as that's drying there, I wanted to tell you about this here. This one here won't have a stand because I didn't spray paint the bottom, but what I used is the, I spray painted in the satin black and then I just put three pearls. And you won't believe the compliments I get on that simple jar. Sometimes simple is better. Uh, simple kind of draws people's attention to things like this. This is not really, we don't have very much going on here, but yet to me, we have a lot going on. Less is always better. Uh, my son's always saying that. So, <laughs> so fire. <laughs> okay, so now I believe this is uh, glued on my, I don't think I wanna do anything else to it because I didn't do very much to that one. We wanna keep them both similar, okay? So that one says, I am human. This one says, love people. And then we have the black jar in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and just so you know, these dry, pieces here this all came in a bunch together I'm just dividing it into the three jars I bought this at the Dollar Tree and this is beautiful I haven't been able to find it again of course I can go on in my backyard because we live in the woods and I can go ahead and do and uh, you know gather these things together but these pieces here are absolutely beautiful so I just divided it up just for show just to show you guys how pretty that looks so let me just go ahead and move this over here so you guys can see how pretty this set of three looks. I think it would make a nice gift for any male, anybody, but I'm giving this away to a male, a male friend. So here we go, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Everything I use to create this craft is down in the description box below. Click like, share, comment subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.